Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how to use class components in React Native. And usually we use functional components in React Native and React JS both. But still we have to know about class components. Uh, so let's say in your office you got a old React Native project which is already built four or five years ago, right? And their class components are used heavily. So you cannot change all components in functional components. So that time you must have to deal with the class components that's why we will create two videos in this complete playlist for class component first one that we are just uh, watching and second one just next video there we will learn that how to manage uh, states and props in class components what we will learn there we will learn that how to make class component how we can add another components in class component like uh, uh, button input text text view as well as custom components and uh, after that we will learn that how to fire events in class component and how we can call functions and at last we will cover some important interview questions also so one question uh, for you that you have to just uh, search on a google and you can just give the answer of this question in comment section which is what is the difference between class component and functional component all right so now let's start with the code this is our code and this is our emulator for output so i am uh, just working in the app.js and for now I am just hiding this explorer so that we have some area to write the code and initially I am just deleting that uh, app component from there because this is a functional component I am just converting this component or you can see that I am just creating a class app component right so app component with the classes so let me just add their class and your component name Right. It could be anything like uh, app component, user component, student component, whatever you want. After that, we have to extend a class there, which is, let me just write there, extend react.component. Either you can just export your uh, component class there and directly use this like, like this. All right. After that, we have to use, uh, you can say that we have to write a render function. Because in functional component, we can directly return our UI part, but class classes are not made to return something, right? So that's why we have to use the render function and inside this, we will return our HTML, oh, not actually HTML in the UI part. So there I am putting like text and uh, just writing their class component. And after that, we can simply write their style style is let's say color is red after that uh, we can say that font size could be let's say 30 right and here we go now you can see that just hold for a moment yeah class component there right so this is a simple and basic class component so let's say you want to add some button there then simply put the button or you have to import it from the uh, react native and then you can use let me just put their title press me after that let's say you just want to import a text input then you can do that also and after that let's simply put their uh, placeholder enter your name perfect so this is really simple and same as the functional component to write the ui part there as style also all right so now let's say you want to create a custom component then how you can do that i am just copying this code so that i can just do it very quickly so we can save the time in video so i am just creating a new file student.js pasting directly there and uh, now you can change the app with the student and let's explore that student also we don't need much things there so directly put there let's say color is green now and uh, student component perfect and you can remove the extra buttons and all stuff button we don't need there after that we can remove that uh, text also input text also perfect then how we can use it in the app component same as we are using functional component so let me just put their student and it will automatically suggested by the vs code and 
imported also perfect let me save it and here you can see that student component is also there the next and last thing is how we can create a function you cannot simply put their uh, const where let function keyword just create a function with the name let's say fruit you want to create their fruit function right and uh, now let's return something inside it or you can want something let's say fruit is apple fruit or something right we can do that perfect so to call this we just let's say on the button we have to call a event on press and they are simply call this dot fruit because this function is inside the class that's why if we want to call any property any function of this uh, class then we have to use here this keyword and now let's see is it working fine or not i'm pressing that press me and here we go apple so this function is also working perfect so in next part we will learn that how to use props and uh, uh, states in class component and interview question first thing how to make a class component uh, that i already told you difference between class and functional component that you have to search i just giving you as assignment to it next thing how to call function in a class component and why we use this keyword all right so that's all for this part and thank you so much for watching this video i am requesting you to please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section thank you guys